So today I want to talk about a topic that gives me a little bit of deja vu because I can't help but feel like I've spoken about this before. Um, and I've, I mean, I, well, I have definitely spoken about this before, but I feel like I've done a video about this already, but I went and I checked and I don't think I have. So here we are. And that's the idea of science versus religion. And this is something which I think is very harmful because there's a lot of people who might be considering coming to, say, Christianity. Um, but they see evangelicalism and they see even with creationism and the denial of science and so on and so forth and they think no that's not for me and they think you know I don't want to abandon science to follow a religion which I think is, is fair enough so I kind of want to I want to talk about this and what my views on it are because I I, I see people go on about oh, science or religion but I don't see a contradiction I think that this contradiction is completely made up and that there, that there isn't really one naturally there and a lot of the time when people say that, when they say that the science and religion actually um, correspond with each other, they mean one of two things, either it's an evangelical talking and they say, oh yeah, science and religion do correlate well, but proper science, not this new science of evolution and stuff, just proper science that actually goes for you know, creationism and stuff like that. And I'm like, you know, that's n no. <laughs> and, but then also, you know, someone on the more scientific end of things will say, oh yeah, science and religion don't contradict so long as we change certain aspects of religion, which again, no, because in that case, they do contradict, science and religion do contradict, but you have to change one of them, and then when you change one of them to fit what you wanted to say, then yeah, there's no contradiction, which, no, that's not what I mean when I say it. When I say it, I mean science as we think of it now, modern day science, you know, evolution, Big Bang, so on and so forth, does not contradict what the biblical authors intended when they wrote the Bible. In other words, Christianity does not contradict science. And you know, there'd be so many people like, well, what about what about um, creationism and so on and so forth? And I'm not a creationist. I'm a theistic evolutionist. Um, and I'm a theistic evolutionist, not even necessarily because of the scientific reasons, but because of the theological reasons. I became a theistic evolutionist because of looking into the context of Genesis and how it was written and you know where it was written when it was written you know the, the words in it so on and so forth um, and, and coming to this conclusion that well I, I yeah sure it can fish creationism the Genesis account can also fish evolution theistic evolution I believe so and, and because I figured out that it could fit theistic evolution I I, well, I was no longer you know pitting what I believed in terms of religion against science and so now I could take on board the evidence that science brought forth and because of that because I had theologically allowed myself to be open to these ideas um, then and only then did I take the science into consideration and I actually started accepting science again so people who say you know it's it's not about like I was um, you know evangelical and then I saw the science and was convinced I saw the science and wasn't convinced until I saw that my theology didn't necessarily uh, contradict it and I think there's people who've done great work on this John Malton has done books I think called like The Lost World of Genesis 1 and some other um, stuff like that and, and that's fantastic looking at the context and nature of the, of the of the time when Genesis was written and stuff um, so you know, because of all that because of the study and I've done and things like that I have come to the conclusion that it's not a case of there's a contradiction that can be reconciled it's just that there is no contradiction to reconcile in the first place we don't have to reconcile the contradiction between science and Christianity because the contradiction between science and Christianity doesn't exist essentially and, uh, and you know you get all these different questions then about oh well, which which do you put first do you put science or religion first and I kind of have to think you know that's that's like asking which do you put first a bakery or a barbershop you know it's like what well, if I want to get my hair cut I'll go to the bakery I'll go to the barbershop and not the bakery but if I want to get something to eat I'll go to the bakery and not the barbershop so you ask me well, you know which one do I prefer I'm like well it depends on what I want done. Um, and it's the same with science and religion. Science is dealing with the natural world. Religion is really more so with the spiritual and the supernatural and all that sort of thing. And it's rare the two will ever collide at all. So to say that you prefer one over the other doesn't really make sense because it's like, you know, well, I prefer science. OK, well, that, how does that help you with the supernatural? Or I prefer religion. Well, how does that help you with the natural? It's the same as like, I prefer barbershop. How does that help you with food? I prefer bakery. How does that help you with a haircut? So on and so forth. So it's not pushing one over the other. It's just implementing the one that's needed when it's needed so when looking at the natural world we use science when looking at the supernatural spiritual world that's when religion comes into play and so this idea of pitting the two of them against each other in the first place doesn't make much sense because of the very it's very rare that they do overlap you know um but you know sometimes maybe they do overlap maybe the two worlds do collide and in those cases i think they collide quite nicely like i said i didn't just believe in theistic evolution 
because of the science. I actually had good theological reasons, good under, like a good understanding of, of the text of Genesis, which led me to be able to accept it. So in that case, a Genesis, a religious text, and you know, evolution, a scientific theory, came together. And when I actually properly studied what Genesis said, um, and you know, the Hebrew and all that stuff, I came to the conclusion that they actually interlinked. You know, so people might have this idea of you know, religion and science. You know, they completely contradict it. I think it fits together like a jigsaw puzzle. You know, and this idea of having to change one in order to suit the other is like having two pieces of a jigsaw that fit and cutting what like the little bits. I don't know what the protrusions on the jigsaw pieces are called. Like cutting one of them off, and after you do that, then trying to fit the two together. I don't get that. And also, I don't think we have to change what we understand about science in order to believe in God or to believe that the Bible is true. And I don't think that we have to change what we believe about the Bible or the very well, obviously, maybe how we understand the Bible. But we don't have to deny the Bible's validity in order to become, you know, or to, in order to believe science. And, you know, when I say we have to change the Bible and things like that, I don't mean like, obviously, my view of, the, of this particular part of the Bible certainly did change. But you know that didn't change religion as a whole you know so i didn't have to abandon this part of the bible it's not like i, I didn't like abandon the, this part of the bible i didn't look at genesis and say i don't like this so i'm just not going to you know whatever instead what it is is i i still held on to what genesis said and what it says it's just that my understanding has evolved so i haven't abandoned it i haven't changed it i've just changed my understanding of it in the same way with science to say that well science actually actually you know teaches you creationism that's not really changing your understanding of science that's just changing what science itself says which i don't think is any good so at the end of the day really and i know there's going to be some people who disagree with me you know and, and it's strange because um obviously the evangelistic you know community are not too happy with you know theistic evolution and that sort of a thing and they don't believe it to be true and i understand that i do understand that um and it, it, it's it, it's fair enough because as I, I think i said you know genesis doesn't necessarily teach theistic evolution i think there's space in there for you know it's creationism as well so it's not ridiculous to get that out of the text but um you, you know so, so, so when, when it comes to the stuff i don't understand the group i don't understand is atheists actually aren't happy with this so i will try and tell an atheist well no actually and this isn't all of them this is um but it's, it's i want to say atheists. i mean like internet atheists you know like not like you know people who haven't left the basement in the last three years you know not not like the average atheist like one percent of, of the atheist population will say the, the the redditors but um i will say well here i don't think that you know uh creationism is necessary for christianity and i think that there's a good argument for theistic evolution and they will get genuinely upset i've had people not even try to debunk what i say because people have tried to debunk what i say and that's fair enough they try to debunk these arguments that's fair enough that's how discussion works that's how arguments work that's how these things work you don't just accept what the other person says you have to try and reason through it so people trying to debunk what i've said or what john walsh has said and so on and so forth i completely understand that that's fair that's just how you have a conversation about these things you know but I've had people go beyond that, and instead of just trying to debunk, just they've just got genuinely upset. Like atheist, and it's more so the atheists I've noticed than the Christians. So the Christians I've talked to have actually tried to debunk it, um, but most of the like Reddit atheists, so like th that type of atheist that I've spoken to, have just been just upset. And, you know, like I once got a response, I, I posted something about like like my argument for um, the theistic evolution, and one of the responses from an atheist was just no. Or like something like no it isn't or no it doesn't or like whatever something like that you know um because i was like well my you know, I, you know the bible doesn't teach creation or something i can't remember what it was but their their answer essentially just boiled down to no you know and so and, and people and it's been, been, been worse than that but people get like upset which i don't understand because i'm sure like as an atheist as someone who doesn't have any religious beliefs and just would be more so interested in the science side of things probably i don't understand why this idea of less creationists makes people upset or this idea of i oh, yes i'm a re i'm religious but i don't just deny all of science um it, it, it upsets some people and i guess it's maybe because it, i think i genuinely with a lot of these people i think it's just because it's easier to debunk you know creationism um and, you know so like i've had atheists for example on my live streams on tiktok and stuff but i'll say i'm no i'm not a creationist um even if i detail my and my reason i give good 
like detailed answer as to why I will have them going, no, you're just cherry picking. And these aren't even Christians, these are atheists. And I, I genuinely, I think the reason for it is just because they can't debunk a religious person who accepts science with the same ease as a religious person who doesn't accept science. And I genuinely think that's the reason why. And like I say, this isn't all atheists. I know this is a, like a very small minority, but this is just the, the experience I've had. I don't hold this against atheists. I don't think, oh, the atheists, they're all so mean about whatever. I recognise it's probably like 1% or 2% of the global atheist population, you know. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm not holding that against anybody. Um, but yeah, so that was, that was just something interesting I noticed of some people are genuinely upset that I don't just abandon all of science because of my religion and the only way I've actually managed to reason that in my head is they just, I think they like it, it's the kind of people who are argumentative and stuff, I just think they like it when it's easy to debunk the person they're talking to. So when I give them that extra challenge of I don't deny science and that's not something they can now cling on to, say well you deny science and but science is provable and so on, when I say yes I agree that science is real and all that stuff, it makes their job harder so I, I think that's the um, the problem at least with a lot of them but I don't know maybe they're just angry who knows anyway I'm sort of running out of time in this video thanks for listening to another one of my unhinged rants and god bless